What's up, everybody? It's Flux of FluxWithIt.com, and today I'm going to do a review on the Erica Sense Black Stereo Delay. Now, typically, I don't usually do reviews like this, but um, I decided I was kind of in the market for a delay, and Erica Synths had one that they had just come out with, so uh, they sent it over. I'm checking it out. When I'm done with the review, I send it back unless I want to buy it, uh, so that's kind of the upfront disclaimer about that relationship. The uh, Black Stereo Delay... What it basically is, is obviously it's a stereo delay. It can also be used as two mono delays. And they have a DIY version of the mono delay. Now, what's cool about this one is that it has a ping pong mode, has tape, and it has digital modes. Uh, the layout of this thing, my initial concern was that it was going to be a lot of HP space for not a lot of delay. Uh, what I've come to find out about it is actually I really prefer the layout because it's uh, it's very performance oriented. So if you look at the uh, the picture of it here, you'll see that there's these four buttons down below the knobs. Those are very performance oriented buttons. So obviously you have a tap delay. The reverse function is very musical and fun to use uh, when you're just creating beats or whatever you're doing. It's really fun to like tap that, bring it in take it out you know do that sort of thing the add function is kind of like a overdub and what i found is that you can do some different things with it you can actually tap it and it kind of sends like a, an extra rhythm rhythmic tap into your delays uh, especially if you have your delay tempo synced using the tap input so usually what i'll do is i'll send a, a clock divider into the tap input and then using the add function i'll just tap it in between and get some uh, kind of interesting dubby delays. The hold function is like a looper essentially. So you're holding up to 20 seconds in the buffer and allows you to kind of mangle the audio that way and then tap it, come back out of it and just do some otherworldly stuff. <laughs> big time knob on there is actually really nice to have and it's just something that uh, especially in tape mode you're gonna want to play with the time in and out you know just you know going down into the short three millisecond range and then bringing it way up and just doing all kinds of interesting stuff like that. <laughs> input level on it has a soft clipping circuit what's really good about that is uh it really kind of reins the module in so a lot of the times on these delays if you go if the feedback gets out of whack and you start you know your delays are piling up on each other 
sometimes your levels can just go absurd. This one actually tends to keep everything pretty musical and restrained, which I really enjoy. Let's listen to some examples. <laughs> get some performance oriented fun effects out of this thing it's really just a joy to be playing around with it coming up with happy accidents uh sending it different clocks modulating it in different ways but what i really like the most is the performance buttons on it i love just being able to tap things bring them in and out uh one thing that you'll notice in that clip is that if i bring the time all the way down to three milliseconds and you uh, press and hold the add button you'll see the LED will flash twice that's letting you know that if you continue holding the add button and turn the time you can mess with the stereo spread of the non ping pong mode which is really cool uh, this this module really just lets you play with it in ways that are just super for performance oriented and fun so for me this thing ended up getting a huge thumbs up like i said when i first uh was getting it i was a little bit concerned about the hp size i was a little bit concerned about uh how the digital side of it would sound what i ended up finding is that i really like the size because it allows you to play with it and not feel super fiddly um the the sound of it is great the soft clipping circuit really keeps things musical i would have liked to have had a little bit more um ability to get more of that soft saturation tape uh tape emulation sound it's not so much that like you get a little bit of that uh but it's more about just keeping things musical and restrained eh, eh, restrained and i think that's fine okay so in this example what i have is the qubit scan module is the only thing that's going through the black stereo delay the drums are just here for context now if i bring this all the way dry they're just these little plucky sounds, and every once in a while, the um, the uh, dampening will come up, and it'll kind of stretch itself out a little bit. I have the tap is coming from my trigger riot, which is tempo sync to my Fluxus One, and I can adjust the delay times. So right now, I just have it of a division of two, and let's take a listen. We're in tape mode with ping pong on. And we'll bring that input level up a bit. Now if I go into digital mode and I shorten the time, you'll notice we're not getting any of that pitch change. Let's go into tape mode and do that. So um, overall, I'd say that if you're looking for a delay that you want to be able to put in your case and perform live with, this is definitely one to consider. Um, it's it's just a blast to mess with, and the reverse mode sounds cool as hell. So anyway, this is Flux checking out the Erica Synths Black Stereo Delay. If you have any questions, hit me up. Also, feel free to leave a comment and just let me know what delays that you are rocking and which ones you feel like are the most performance oriented and have fun with. Peace.